the Kinlock Bray Chase is next. It's two and a half miles. It's a grade two. And the top one is Ainter Sabrabro for Darren Thompson. Honey Star for Greg Beckwith. Cassable Knock for Craig Allen. Vintage Trader, Leon Van Rensburg. Cypress Hill, David Robertson. Sassan Akam, Leon Van Rensburg. Sonic Khan, Jim Murray. The Grade Seller, Ryan Costello. Viva Paradiso, Daniel French. Fond Tarf, David Hooley. Lady Rhapsody, Jim Murray. Rally Gazelle, John Morgan. And under his eye, Ryan Tamasebi. So 13 this time then. Called in and away. And the Grey Sastanakam is the first one to show. Pulling for its head wide on the track is the first of the Jim Murray horses. That's Honey Star. But it's Sastanakam that's going to lead them, I think, into the first of the 13 fences in this one then. With the Rally Gazelle moving through into seconds. So they get to the first and Sastanakam takes it slowly in the lead. And he's almost joined by Rally Gazelle in second. Under his eye on the outside is third. And the second of the Leon van Rensburg horses, Vintage Trader, is also to the fore, looking towards the back of the field, Fon Tarf, the grey in the purple jacket is probably just the back marker on the inside rail, and again, the shortest way around there, and he's probably only 8 to 10 lengths off the lead at this stage, so they get to fence number 2, which they're all safely to the other side of, and Sastanakam, the first of the greys is in the lead, the second of the greys, uh, the grey teller has moved into second, then Rally Gazelle is third, with Cassable Knock on the inside fourth as they get to this ditch, they're all safely of that ditch, with the exception of Viva Paradiso, who got rid of the jockey and tried to do it sneakily where I didn't notice there as the angle was changing. But Viva Paradiso is gone. I think that was probably Daniel French's horse, but it's out of the race anyway. And Sasta Nakam is eight lengths clear now of Cassable Knock in second. Rally Gazelle and Vintage Trader virtually three in a line, though. Those then Fon Tarf has moved forward into fifth as they take number five. And they're all safely over that one. There's the loose horse at the back. The grey teller is just the back marker of the ones that have still got jockeys on board. And Sasta Nakam is a clear leader. And a good eight lengths to Cassable Knock in second. And Rally Gazelle third. Vintage Trader is fourth. And Fon Tarf going well on the inside in fifth with just behind that one. Honey Star, Cypress Hill is widest on the track. Under his eye is on the inside of the two Jim Murray runners who run together, Lady Rhapsody and Sonic Khan. And then the back two are Ainsus of Bravo, the top weight, and the Grey Teller. So they get over the next one. There's a faller there. Cypress Hill's gone. So Cypress Hill is out of the race. Bit of a crashing fall, that one. And they pass the one in post and go around for another circuit then now. Sasta Nakam. The lead is down to a little more than three now, with Cassable Knock in second, and then Rally Gazelle in third. Vintage Trader is fourth, and Honey Star is fifth. Sonic Khan has moved into sixth. Von Tarf has just lost its place a little bit, then under his eye after that one. Then Lady Rhapsody. With the Grey Teller and Ainsa Sabrabra at the back as they take the seventh. And Ainsa Sabrabra jumped that rather slowly at the back, but Sastanakam is still the leader and leads by about two lengths. Two in second place, Casable Knock. Then Rally Gazelle is third, and Vintage Trader is fourth. Sonic Card is after that Lady Rhapsody. Those two running together on the, on the outside. Fon Tarf is still trying to get there as well, so is Honey Star. And under his eye is still there. The Grey Teller is making a forward move as well as they take number eight once again. Ainsa Sabrabra was a bit ponderous over it, but Sastanakam. Nakam is still in front. Sasta Nakam still leads by the best part of two lengths to Cassable Knock in second and Rally Gazelle in third. Sonic Khan has now moved into a clear fourth ahead of stable mate Lady Rhapsody being pushed along there is Honey Star trying to go past Vintage Trader. Fon Tarf has just dropped back a little bit behind under his eye. Ain't a bribe the only one who looks out of it and the second of the Jim Murray horses made a bad mistake there. Lady Rhapsody might have put pain to that one's chances but it's Sasta Nakam who leads. Sasta Nakam's in the lead then with only five furlongs still to go and about this is the tenth over that one. That's the final ditch. They've got three more fences to go, and it's Sasta Nakam in the lead. Lady Rhapsody's moved through in a second. Cassable Knock, Vintage Trader, all still there, ready to challenge. Under his eyes, come through the inside, over to third. Last they go, and they're all safely over that one. But Sasta Nakam still in the lead. The Grey Teller's coming around the outside, losing a bit of ground, coming wide, but coming through to challenge. Then Lady Rhapsody under his eyes after that one. Then comes Cassable Knock, Vintage Trader, and Sonic Card down towards the second. Last they go, and it's still Sasta Nakam. Sasta Nakam's over in the lead. Sasta Nakam from Lady Rhapsody in second. Then comes the Grey Teller under his eye. And also Sonic Card still there. Honey Star's trying to come with a run as well. They're racing down towards the final fence. There's not much of a run in either. It's Sasta Nakam in front. Sasta Nakam is the leader still. By a length. They're queuing up behind Lady Rhapsody under his eye. Sonic Card cuts them all. Knock any of these. Could take it. Vintage Trader is now a bit either. As they come down towards the final fence in there. And it's Sasta Nakam by half a length. Now this is the shortest lead he's had as he comes into this final fence. Could come down to the jump. They get over it and Cassable Knock jumps it best. 
and Casable not gets away from it. Best is about a neck up and up the line. Casable knocks going to take it. Casable not the winner. Sutton that comes second and Lady Rapsody in vintage trader and Rally Gazelle and the field will trail back to the grey teller and Sasta Nakam led everywhere except on the line and it's another one for Craig Allen as the championship battle hops up not only does he get a winner but he takes one away from one of his main rivals as well so Casable not then for Craig Allen the winner Sasta Nakam for Leon van Rinsburg second Jim Murray was third and fourth with Lady Rhapsody and Sonic Khan and the fifth horse was Vintage Trader for Leon van Rensburg.